OpenAI just released, well, a few days ago, its new projects feature. Uh, so I wanted to spend a little bit of time kicking the tires before I did a quick review video. So uh, in this very short video, I'm going to show you how projects work, what it's good for, what it's not, and a couple of kind of secrets or workarounds that I haven't seen anyone else talk about. Uh, all right, let's get into it. Uh, what's going on, y'all? My name is Jordan Wilson, and I'm the host of Everyday AI. Uh, if you're new here, we do a daily live stream podcast and free daily newsletter helping everyday people learn and leverage generative AI to grow their companies and their careers. If that sounds like you, please go to your everydayai.com, sign up for our free daily newsletter so you can not just stay ahead, you can go dominate. You can go be the smartest person in AI at your company. All right. So most days we do what's called an AI in five, which is a quick tip, trick, or tutorial. So today we're going to be looking at ChatGPT's projects. All right. So uh, if you go here on the left-hand side, if you're in a paid ChatGPT account, you will see this new projects thing. Uh, in short, projects can be a lot of different things. You can use it simply to organize your chats. So uh, let's just say, I'm going to say test five. All right. And then I can go down to old chats and I can go and click add to project test five. All right. Uh, so then uh, that one was called, can you see now, if I go back up to test five, all right, a little buggy. I thought I, I thought I got it there. Let's, let's try that one more time. All right. So I'm going to do a uh, dryer troubleshooting guide. That sounds fun. There we go. Okay. So they're, they're both there now. I don't know why it wasn't, uh, wasn't showing up in my folder. There it is. Okay. So now there's my two that I just added. So you can go add any old, uh, chats that you have. And again, you can search, right? So, uh, I could just say marketing, right? So then any marketing ideas, okay, that's not coming up. I should probably do that on the desktop. That would probably give me some, uh, some better results, but you can go through and manually add anything. Uh, but here's where the power really is. Uh, so you can add files and custom instructions. And then every single uh, chat that you start uh, within that uh, project will use those files and be able to use those files and uh, have those custom instructions. So uh, there's some things that are similar to custom GPTs uh, and some things that are different. So the similarities are, well, uh, you can use uh, custom instructions uh, and files, the difference is, right, uh, projects are more of a organizing mechanism in a hierarchy, right, uh, where GPTs, custom GPTs, you can do a ton of things, right? Uh, you can uh, have starter prompts, uh, you can uh, tap into third-party APIs, you can get much more technical with it, uh, and you can use those GPTs anywhere, so it's, it's, it's two different things, all right? Uh, so let's go ahead and show you an example. So I'm going to, uh, actually what I did here is I went to uh, this page. Uh, this was our episode for today. I saved all of this as a PDF, all right? And now I'm gonna upload it in here. So you're not gonna be able to see the files uh, until I upload them. So there we go. Uh, that is episode 423, uh, kind of the everyday AI news that matters. All right, so uh, I'm actually going to go outside of this so you can see an example. All right. And I'm going to say, you know, tell me the AI news, um, just that. Right. So now this is going to probably browse with Bing, right? It's searching the web or using uh, GPT search and it's giving me the AI news, right? Uh, just things from all over the place. It's at least giving it to me up to date, which is great. Uh, all right. So that's cool. So now though, I can go inside of my test five. So remember, I added this project file. All right. So now when I run that same prompt, tell me the AI news, it is very likely uh, see, says searching project files. So now it's just bringing in that information from that PDF that I uploaded. All right. Uh, so a little, it's running a little slow today. Uh, again, OpenAI's servers are getting absolutely crushed. Uh, but you kind of see the uh, the difference there. So it's uh, now it's using the context of what I uploaded uh, to answer. All right. Uh, also. 
you will see something here. It says the O1 model does not support project files or instructions. So let me show you one other thing here. So I'm going to go to uh, test six. Okay. So now I can use O1, right? So I can go in here. I'm using O1. I can say contemplate life. Uh, it's going to use um, O1 in here, right? Which uh, I think when this first rolled out, when projects first rolled out, uh, it was just GPT-40. However, now if I go back into uh, test six and I add a file, I'm going to add that same PDF file. So uh, O1 cannot work with PDFs. So now when I go in here, all right, and I've added that file. Now you'll see the only thing I can choose from, uh, hopefully you can see when I hover there, uh, it's only 4.0 because uh, it says using custom instructions or files, uh, only GPT-4.0 is available. So uh, even if you just upload JPEGs uh, and PNGs, so uh, O1, if you go into O1, uh, you can upload PNGs and JPEGs, but if you go into a project and you upload PNGs or JPEG, you cannot use the O1 model. All right. Well, kind of. I got a little trick. I got a little trick for you. All right. Uh, so let's do this. Let's go back into our test five. All right. So you'll see right now I can only use 4.0. Bummer. All right. Here's a little bit of a trick. I'm going to start a new chat uh, in GPT 4.0. I'm going to say sup GPT 4.0. All right. Uh, I'm going to, uh, let's just say, I'm going to upload that same PDF. And I'm going to say, summarize this. All right. It's going to take a while. So here's the thing. Here's the thing. Once this is done, I'm going to change this to 01. Got a little bit of a workaround here. We're actually just playing around with the context window. All right. So I'm going to give this a second. So once this is done, I'm going to switch over to the O1 model. Oh, I forgot. I can't do it that way. When I upload the, uh, let's do it this way. So I'm going to say, sup, GPT-40. All right. I'm going to switch over to O1. I'm going to say, contemplate life. All right, I'm going to switch back to GPT-40. I'm going to say sup, 4.0. All right, and then this chat, let's see what it was called. There it is. So it's summarize chat request, but I'm going to rename this chat 4.0 All right, so I hope this works, but here's a little workaround. Now... I can go and add this to that project. All right, so check this out. This has a file. I can't go back in. Uh, I can't go back in and uh, reuse O1, right? Uh, but that's a little workaround. So you technically can have a project that has uploaded files, and you can kind of use O1, but you have to start the chat uh, outside of the project use what you need because you really might need a one for a project but you cannot use it if there are files there so uh pretty pretty fun little workaround so i have one more because here's the other thing you can't use custom gpts in a project right even if you don't have files uploaded all right so let's go there uh, let's create a new project we'll go test seven here we go all right, if I click the add button, no GPTs come up. All right. Uh, also, if you go into GPT mode, this won't work. I'm going to say sup. So this is just a test bot, right? Sup, homie, what's one plus one? All right. So I can't move this. So I'm going to go back down to this chat, right? And I can't move it. You see that? There's no option when I hover. 
Bummer, right? Uh-uh. This is why you tune in. I tell you secrets that no one else knows, all right? Because uh, sometimes I take a lot of time trying to break these things before I just do a quick review. Sometimes I do quick runs. Sometimes I really try to break it. All right, so let's do this. All right, so I'm going to say sup, GPT-40. All right, so now I'm going to at mention that same GPT. Uh, what was that? That was our test bot, I think. Sup, homie. So obviously I have custom instructions and files inside of this GPT. All right, so you saw it said reading documents. All right, so now I'm going to X out. I'm going to say sup 40. Now this chat, uh, so the one that was using the GPT view was math whiz. And you see when I uh, click on the options, I can't send that to a project. Here, when I click that, I can. Look at that. Uh, so you can't actively use them. However, if you start a chat in GPT-40, and then if you need to use 01 or a custom GPT, and you ultimately want that to live inside of a project, bam, there you go. No, I literally haven't seen anyone talk about this. I don't even know if anyone knows. It's just a little workaround. But you know, one thing with projects, I love using GPTs, and I love using the 01 model. Uh, right. But I love the concept of projects. So I was like, yo, like there's got to be a way around this. Right. I'm trying everything. And finally, I found I found out the little tr uh, tip and trick for you. Start it out in 4.0, uh, switch over, use that GPT or 01, go back to 4.0, then go move that chat. And then at least you have the context. So, you know, you might just need a couple of things from a GPT or from the 01 model, and then you can put it under the project. All right. So that is a quick overview of projects. Again, it's just a way to add different files, to add custom instructions, to organize your chats, uh, but also uh, you can use Canvas and Dolly in there as well. All right. I hope this was helpful. If it was, please go to youreverydayai.com, sign up for the free daily newsletter, and I'll see you back for another AI in 5. Thanks, y'all.